New at six for the first time in more than 200 years, two different types of periodical cicadas will emerge in the Midwest at the same time. Yeah, this has led to some social media rumors that this will bring a cicada apocalypse for several states, including here in Oklahoma. But the reality isn't so sensational. Fox 23's Kaylee Klingeman talked to a Tulsa horticulturist about what green country can expect this year. Here in Oklahoma, we have cicadas that emerge every year. And we also have periodical cicadas, some that stay underground for 13 years and some that stay under for 17 years. This year, in some states, both broods will emerge at the same time. Everybody's saying apocalypse for cicadas or that, you know, lots of insects are going to happen. Yeah, that could happen, but just not here in Oklahoma. Horticulturist Brian Jervis says the sound of cicadas can be quite beautiful. But some fear it could be deafening this year due to two different types of periodical cicadas emerging at the same time in the Midwest for the first time in more than two centuries. Jervis says it could be severe in some states, but he does not expect that to be the case for Oklahoma. That brood does include a little bit of the eastern part of the state, but it's nothing to really write home about. It's They, they may get a few here and there, but it's not going to be the numbers that they're seeing uh, in the Midwest. He says the cicadas that come out every year are more of a green color, while the periodical cicadas that come out every 13 or 17 years are brown with red eyes. He says besides some small portions of the eastern part of Oklahoma, it will mostly be just the annual cicadas emerging in our state. They typically begin to emerge from underground in May. The good thing is cicadas don't hurt, hurt anything. They don't hurt our plants. They don't hurt humans. Jervis says our 13-year cicadas will emerge in 20 2028 and our 17-year cicadas will come out in 2032. Reporting in Midtown Tulsa, covering news and matters, I'm Kaylee Klingeman, Fox 23 News.